We're here with uh, what, of course, has to be a very disappointed uh, Rod Salka. You uh, came in, uh, obviously, with very high hopes for this fight. It was uh, a dream opportunity and uh, didn't go as, as planned. Uh, talk about uh, you know how you're feeling in the immediate aftermath of the fight. Well, you said just disappointed. You know what I mean? Uh, first round came out and boxed a little bit and kind of felt like I, I saw his punches good and everything, and then just got caught with something in the second round. Uh, and... What are you going to do? It happens. It's a sport. You know, he's got uh, kind of legendary status power. You know, you see so, some of these highlight reel knockouts. You obviously tasted his power, especially on that last uh, knockout shot. I mean, was it it's everything you expected it would be? Uh, you know, I think I got caught in the first round with something that didn't bother me. Even that punch that knocked me down the first time in the second round. Um, I, I took my time getting back up, but I felt fine. You know what I mean? Uh, then the second one. Again, I still was clear. Like, I remember, you know, everything that happened in the shots and stuff. So, like, I, I mean, he's a big, strong guy. You know, what are you going to do? We're going to call with a shot, and, and and that was that. A lot of the scuttlebutt uh, after the fight here has been about the size differential when you entered the ring. And uh, I just chatted with Angel for a few minutes, and he uh, said that uh, Danny entered the ring uh, somewhere around 155 pounds tonight. Uh, I mean, did you, were you guys expecting that, and, and did you feel the size differential immediately when you got in the ring? Uh, I mean, yeah, we were expecting that. I, I knew he was going to be the bigger, stronger guy. That wasn't a surprise. I needed to box, keep my hands up and move, and I got caught, with it. I got caught slipping. You know, he did what he was supposed to do, and I didn't. Did, um, do you feel like you were keeping to the game plan at all? I mean, did you feel like it was working for you at any part of the fight? And is there anything, I mean, you probably want to watch the tape, but is there anything that in the immediate aftermath that you think of you could have done differently? Um, yeah, whenever I, got, whenever I got caught with a shot, I started trying to fight back. It was stupid. I should have, I should have moved, covered up, maybe held him. You know what I mean? But, uh, I mean, I knew I, was gonna, I wasn't going to go ten rounds and not get caught with anything. You know, or, or, I, didn't expect to, I didn't expect it to be... You know, like that. I felt like I was moving all right. I felt like I was boxing all right. Obviously, my hands weren't coming back, or something didn't come back. He came over the top. He came over the top with that right hand and, and caught me. But uh, you know, I, I'd have to watch the, I'd have to watch the tape and stuff. But I was just disappointed. You know, there was, uh, uh there was no reason uh, for that to happen like that. I felt like the first round, maybe I didn't. You know, he was throwing shots and landing them, but he he didn't. I didn't feel like he had like crazy power like that, and then I even felt like I could see his shots coming. And as soon as I, as soon as I thought that, you know, the next round I, I got caught with a punch I didn't see coming. So after that second knockdown in the final round, um, did you at that point realize, hey, this is going to just be balls to the wall? I'm going in, just going to try and throw the throw the kitchen sink at him and, and hope for that bomb. I don't know. Like I didn't feel like I was really hurt that bad. Like obviously I was hurt. I went down. I'd have to see it. I'm sure it looks. Like, I, I was hurt, but, like, in my head, I, at the time, I didn't. I, I knew I was hurt. I went down. I waited. I was looking at him. I heard my corner talking to me. I was completely aware of everything, you know, that was going on. I, and I knew he was going to be coming, and I thought maybe, you know, I'd catch him. And, I mean, I landed a couple of shots here there, but it didn't. just had no, it just had no uh, effect on him, and he just walked right through it. Angel, again, speaking to him, had, had made the suggestion that after the second knockdown, he felt that your corner should have stopped that. Would you have ever forgiven them if they had stopped the fight after that second knockdown? No, they know that. Huh. I, I wasn't, it wasn't like I didn't know where I was at or I didn't know what was going on. You know what I mean? Even, even when they stopped it, I, I never lost my bearings on what was going on. They sat me down in the stool. I was fine. They asked me questions. I was fine. I, I, you know, I didn't. Uh, it's not like I forgot anything or couldn't remember anything or didn't know where I was at or the day or what was going on or the round. So, I mean, I was, I was all right. It's just, you know. He was a better guy than I, and caught me the shot, and caught me with another shot, and you know, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? Obviously, suffered a, a, a very uh, you know tough defeat tonight. Uh, have uh, you probably haven't even given a thought yet to what you want to do next? You want to continue, I would assume. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We'll have to figure out what's what's going on and see what we need to do as far as uh, going back. You know, what I mean, I'm sure I'll probably go back down. I'll go back down and wait and everything, but. Uh, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see. Great. Well, we do appreciate a few minutes of your time. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving us a few minutes to chat, and uh, good luck in the future.